Now, here's your idiot car guys. Hi, y'all. Jeff, back here with the idiot car guys. And yes, I have another Mercedes. Oh, but wait, it's not a W126. This is a W203. This is a 2006 C350 Formatic. Now, I picked this up for my daughter uh, that I just had bought the Volkswagen EOS for. Well, that thing turned into being a POS, uh, literally. Um, it now no longer runs. It's got a the anti-theft issue and ECU issue and turbo possibly an issue. Um, and it's just sitting. So I thought this car came along on Marketplace. And I thought, you know, it's a Mercedes-Benz. It's got the 3.5 liter engine in it, and they're usually been, have been very reliable. And this car, it does, it runs and drives. It's got a few things that we got to sort through, uh, but overall, the overall appearance of the car is in great shape. Now, a couple of things, uh, and I'm gonna do a walk around of the car, but I'm gonna go ahead and open the hood first and start with that because there is a couple things that need to be done right away. And one is, uh, I gotta get a hood latch, the outside hood latch. So I've got my trusty needle nose pliers here so I can reach in here and grab the pull so that I can, I can pull it. And well, let's see here, where we got? Well, maybe, oh, there we go. There we go, let's see here. I had a hold of it. There we go. So, that's what it takes to get into that hood. Um, but there you have it, folks. 3.5 liter V6. Now, I'm going to go around the car and give you kind of an update on exactly what needs to be done one of the things that was disclosed was the uh, power steering pump and that's located right there um pardon me i'm short a little short of breath there but uh it does grind and i'll start the car here in a little bit and it's got a leak um underneath the car when i first yesterday had it parked out here in the alley there was some pink obviously transmission fluid that uh, had leaked out just behind the power steering pump so i'm wondering if there's a transmission cooler line that might be leaking i don't see any on the ground now because the car was parked right in this area but Obviously, there was something that I'm going to have to have a little bit of attention to. But overall, you know, there's a lot of engine packed in this short amount of space. Typically, this had, these came out with the uh, uh, C240, the 2.4 liter, and then a 3 liter, uh, this being the 3.5. But overall, the car, body-wise, is in great shape. Now, there's some other things that are wrong as well. One, I can't get into the trunk, and the key fob doesn't uh, control the doors. I did check to see if the uh, uh, batteries you know, were any good. I changed them, and in the key fob, they were actually positive, positive, negative, negative, positive. So they weren't uh, in series. They were in parallel. And I think that that might have possibly shorted out the key fob. More to come on that, don't know for sure exactly until I do a little digging into it. But, you know, there is a little rust down low, right down there, um, but it's not all bad. 
open up the back door here. Oh, the doors are locked. I guess I need to go around. We'll go from the front because the front door was unlocked. I'll have to open the doors from the unlock button that's actually in here. So, but car's dirty. Needs a needs definitely a little cleaning. Does not have GPS. Pretty standard, pretty standard car with one exception. And this was a surprise to me. Actually has a rear shade and it does work. It goes up and down. But overall, you know, not too bad. But yes, now I'm into the, have a modern car. And it came with an extra battery. I have no idea why. But it's there. Uh, the battery in the car, I believe, uh, is fairly new. So, folks, there you have it. Um, probably going to need some guidance a little bit on how to get into the trunk. Um, I did try putting the uh, blade key in the trunk, uh, in, in the trunk itself, and turn it to the left and pull the pull the lever. Well, that didn't work because the lever won't release. Um, so it's probably the electronic control unit. Um, don't know. Um, haven't had a chance to dig into it, but you know it's it's gonna it's gonna be one of those things that. Uh, I want to go through and make sure that the, you know, the safety items are good uh, and the power steering is functioning. But other than that, you know, we'll get to the, uh, we'll get to the, the trunk and all that after a bit. But here we're going to go ahead and start it. And you can hear, you can hear that power steering pump whine a little bit. And she puffed a little bit of smoke. But I'm not concerned about that either. But yeah, you can hear that. So, a few things we need to do. But other than that, this car actually drives very nice. So, there you have it, folks. 19 or 2006 Mercedes C350 Formatic with a 3.5 liter W203 chassis. I know, it's a modern Mercedes. It's not like the, the W126 sitting over there or the W124 sitting there or the other W126 sitting there. Oh yeah, don't forget the W126 that's in the garage and then the diesel that's over one more bay. So, modern car. In the Jeff idiot car guys fleet hey listen hit that subscribe button thanks for watching